Hi everyone, so my name is Jessica, I'm also known as the Green Dietitian and I'm currently 28 weeks pregnant and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about caffeine intake during pregnancy. So when I speak to pregnant women, most pregnant women believe that caffeine is not allowed during pregnancy at all and that's actually not 100% true, you can have a little bit of caffeine during pregnancy. The limit is 200 milligrams, so anything below 200 milligrams per day is considered safe during pregnancy, which is basically equivalent to two cups of instant coffee. But bear in mind that there are also other forms of caffeine that might come into your diet. So there's things like Coca-Cola if you drink Coke, there's things like cacao or chocolate that have a little bit of caffeine in them, energy drinks have some caffeine in them, and then black tea and green tea also have caffeine in them. So altogether, it's kind of important to keep your caffeine intake to two servings of caffeinated foods per day, whether that's coffee or tea or chocolate or whatever it is. So people always ask me what would actually go wrong if you had too much coffee or caffeine during pregnancy. And studies have basically shown that too much caffeine intake during pregnancy can lead to miscarriage and can also um, lead to low birth weight babies. So that's kind of what can go wrong if you have too much coffee. Other than that though, a lot of pregnant women do avoid coffee for other reasons. Um, a lot of women, especially in the first trimester, might find that coffee actually worsens morning sickness or that they have a food aversion towards coffee or caffeine. Um, I know I did when I was in my first trimester, I just couldn't look at coffee and it's usually one of my favorite things. And um, caffeine during pregnancy is also, it can also worsen heartburn if you do have heartburn, like in your second or third trimester. It's also a gastric irritant, so if you do have any digestive discomfort, which can happen during pregnancy, it can make it worse. And it's, um, so coffee has tannins in it, which basically interfere with iron absorption. So these are color pigments that are found in normal tea, like regular tea and coffee, and they interfere with iron absorption. So even if you are yeah, drinking decaf coffee and you're having it quite regularly and you're having it with your meals, that could put you at high risk of iron deficiency during pregnancy. And we all know that iron is super important during pregnancy. And the last reason, actually, the number one reason why I avoid caffeine a lot in life in general and also during pregnancy is because it's got a stimulant effect so it makes your heart beat a bit faster and um, it can kind of give you a sensation of like heart palpitations or racing heart and during pregnancy you're often more breathless and already have like a faster heartbeat and that can be really unpleasant and actually make you feel anxious so personally I have not had any caffeine in my second trimester or third trimester really and my personal preference is to do the red espresso rooibos, which I'm going to show you now. Um, the reason why I love this is because it really gives you like a cafe style beverage. So you can make a cappuccino from it, you can make a latte from it. Um, and it's so easy to make at home. And I realized like personally, what I really love about coffee is just like the ritual of making it and then just sipping on something that's kind of like milky and sweet and full-bodied which is what you get from the red espresso so i'm going to show you what it looks like once it's all made so this is my red espresso cappuccino um and then i also just wanted to mention that there are some extra benefits to having the red espresso cappuccinos or lattes or whatever you do with them so Red espresso actually has five times the, um, the antioxidant value of tea and it's got 10 times the antioxidant potential of normal rooibos. And the reason is because it uses a special kind of extraction process during making it. And that means it's got a huge antioxidant potential, which is so important just for health in general, but also super important during pregnancy because during pregnancy, you're actually in a pro-oxidative state. So your body is kind of producing more oxidation or more oxidative damage just by being pregnant and having more antioxidants in your diet from fruits and vegetables and even your beverages can really help you to feel healthier during pregnancy and have healthier outcomes. Cool, thanks for listening today and I hope to share more with you guys soon.